What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Let's start today's video with some classic physique updates. As two of the top guys from the Olympia, Mike Sommerfield and Terence Suffren won their respective shoes and secured their Olympia spot for 2024. But this was very much expected. The main topic of this thread will be the disparity of prize money in some of these pro shows. So guess who is the real winner out of all the guys who just secured their Olympia spot? That is Logan Franklin, who won Sean Ray Hawaiian Classic. And by the way, a huge shout out to Sean Ray. He has always been very vocal about the competitors getting the maximum financial benefits because he understands how expensive this sport really is. And you guys will be shocked to hear how much Terence Suffin or Ors or Mike Sommerfield got for winning their respective shoes compared to what Logan Franklin took home from Hawaii, which was arguably one of the weakest lineups out of all the Olympia qualifiers throughout the year. So Logan won 12 grand as the first place check. On top of that, he won another 10 grand for the best posing award. So a total of 22 grand and that is a big payday. And I am truly surprised where are all of these American athletes. Sean Ray Hawaiian Classic should have the deepest lineup after the Arnold Classic and the Olympia. But only 6 guys showed up here. So do you guys know how much Urs won? 2 grand for the first place and same goes for Towns of Finn. Yes, all of them were looking for the Olympia qualification, except for Urs, who was already qualified. So why he didn't show up in Hawaii? I think we have got to support Sean Ray and his show and hype up this event. I am positive a guy like Taran Sufin will love to do this show. And Sean Ray really is making all these other show promoters to rethink about what they are giving back to the athletes who are flying halfway around the world to compete in their shows. So congratulations to Mike, congratulations to Terrence, Urs and Logan Franklin. And I guess we will see these guys in 11 months at the Olympia 2024. Karat Bajo guest posed yesterday in an amazing condition. I am so glad that he is getting the respect and the recognition that he deserves. After all, he is now the top 4 guy in the world in the 212. And he is the one who is gonna continue to move up the ranks because he has got the structure for it. And on top of that, he has got the conditioning for it. So as a 4th place finisher, Carrot will have to re-qualify for 2024 because only 3 guys will get the automatic qualification. And that won't be a problem for him. I think he can enter any 212 show in the upcoming calendar year and get that win. For now he is closing the season down and he's gonna rest, let his body recover and then start his off season which is probably gonna be in January. So what did you guys think? Does Carrot has what it takes to win the Olympia and beat guys like Sean and Keon Pearson? Prague Pro 2023 Men's Open scorecard is out. It was a perfect score by Samson Dauda and we can all agree on that one. Michael Crystal was in solid second place at both the pre-judging and at the finals. But the interesting part is that third and fourth place finish where Nathan Diesha and Rubel Mosquera were fighting. Apparently Nathan was beating Rubel by one point after the pre-judging but Rubel came back improved and he stole that third spot from Nathan. So I think people really need to understand what this man was able to accomplish. This was his pro debut, his first pro show and even though everyone kept on saying including me that his legs are just too big, he doesn't have enough separation, he doesn't have the symmetry, his proportions aren't that good and yet he was able to beat a guy who has been top 7 in the world. So let that sink in for a second. He is 100% qualifying for the Olympia next year and him coming to the pro league is a huge win because he has the freak factor that is just beyond anyone right now. His side shots, especially his side leg, that is really alien-like. So imagine him doing a proper off-season, some refining of that physique. I think he is gonna be deadly. So hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.